Hi friends, what's this task list or to-do list? This list in the part one and two we had dis uh, discussed how you have taken this data and displayed it. How and whenever we tick anything, some task is completed. That we can how the color changes, how the font and the strike through font we give. That we have already discussed in one and two. Now in this script, it will works at SQLite database as backend. And you, it can, MySQL or any other database also can be used where this task list are added or stored or the status is changed from the database itself. I can whenever I am changing, suppose I am changing this task is completed, I am getting a message that record is updated. Now this is this data is stored in the database. So I can close this and if I will open it again, the status will, will remain whatever earlier I have made that because it reads from the database and update the task list. Now let me just add one more task, my task 6 say. I am saying I can add that, the task is added here. Say I can also change the that completed. So every time I will get a message here based on my whatever the status of from my database. Say all those tasks which I have completed, I want to remove them. Then in that case I can just click this. So this will delete all the completed tasks. I can again add one task also, my task 7 and that will be stored in the database and again change the status also. Now the backend database is used. So we'll install the table, we'll learn how to install the table and then how this script works. Visit this URL and the link is in the description. You can just scroll down and come here. If you are using SQLite uh, database then copy this code and note that the, because it's a file based database so you if you are using a different location and change this path here also in your script and say this this uh, code is required to create the database and subsequently if you are using MySQL database then copy this code and run this and before running don't forget to use your uh, user ID, password here and the database where you have installing the table. So this will install the table, this is a single table only. And if you have access to your PHP MyAdmin and you can create it, then scroll down here at the end you can find the, here it is, you can see the SQL dump of it, the create table, my task, but this is for my MySQL and three rows of data is inserted. Now, if you want the entire source code of this script, after you created the table, you can copy it from here. This is the entire source code is available. And if you are using uh, SQLite, then here you have to remove this and remove this comment. And this is already, this, uh, this is for MySQL. So I, you have to add a comment here. So the my connection, the variable based on your it's a SQLite or MySQL, whatever it is, you, this variable will be created. Now we'll understand how the script runs. This is our uh, code, the complete around uh, 90 line of codes are there. We'll try to uh, understand the code rather than typing it because it's a big, it will take a lot of time. And if you are facing anywhere, any difficulties and all, you just post it in the comment section and we'll explain. And the entire source code, as you have seen already, you can download it or you can copy the code and use it. First here, we are using this driver, so SQL Alchemy. So uh, if you are using other driver also, no problem. Create the connection string. And here in the next line, here in this line, we are connecting to SQLite. We have kept it commented because here we are using our MySQL database. So MySQL database and these two moment you start first we are connecting to it in a try and exit block. If there is any error in connection the message will be printed. Now we have already tested it so there is no error and here you decide whether you are using uh, SQLite. In that case you have to change the path here because that's a file based. So where you are storing you have to correctly point to your database and already you have uh, uh, installed the tables and or you have added the table in your MySQL database. Now let's come down and here you see the Kinter window. Kinter window here already in the part 1 and 2 we have discussed about how the strike and uh, normal font and the colors we are changing that the same part here it is that update the same thing it will do this function particularly but it does one more thing. Here it is that we have already in the one and two we have explained how this uh, 
font moment I am clicking the check button, the font changes and all uh, config. But here you see one more query we are writing it. So we are telling, we are telling the particularly what the user has clicked. That is the same one. Set the status equal to true or ID where ID because we identify the the task with the ID. So the query update the ta uh, my task set status equal to false here and where ID based on whether uh, you are checking it or unchecking it. Now that uh, we are updating it here. <coughs> then we are finding out how many rows are uh, updated with that because it, it is expected that only one row will be updated one at a time. And that message we are configuring here. This is a R set row count is a integer. So we are converting it to string and adding to this. Now we are passing this message to a function my message which we have kept it at the end here which display the message okay one record is updated records are deleted all those messages and that message will be displayed for 300 millisecond uh, sorry 3000 millisecond or three seconds so that's what you are you are doing and after the three second the text you are configuring to blank means the message will vanish now this is this part is fine now the most important part is my show what happens is in this kinter window we are just See here we are the label top we are displaying that entry where you when you add a uh, task to that we use the entry button then the button to add it and another button where you will be deleting all the completed tasks and the third one is the message L2 the message here this is what at the end just now we are discussed that L2 is here the configure and the message part we are displaying here. Now let's again move up understand L2 now we are created a frame inside the frame we are displaying the our task why we are inciting a frame because we want to update that frame every time a task is removed or a new task is added that's what we do it so for that now here we have placed the uh, on a grid the frame and we have come to the main one is my so what's this so the first one inside this function and when the application is opened also first uh, first thing we did is you come down here you see at line number 90 we call this function my so otherwise there will be a blank window no task will be displayed because all the dis displaying the task is inside this my show now here you just see this is a grid slave means remove all the whatever the previous tasks are there a fresh task list you take it from the database here it is and the cursor run it create a dictionary we have already discussed in part 2 how the dictionary takes the data and dictionary is created now next is we publish all the task list based on the keys and its values if the value is we'll check it value is a here the value is if it is completed then the status column will be true or false based on that we set the values for it and accordingly because when you read it a task is completed means it should strike out and it's the fund should be green so if it so that's what the value will take it here and update the fund otherwise this font blue font will come now the check button once you are taking the check button this particular frame uh, we are we are here we are displaying the check button note that this task frame here it is this is the frame not the my underscore w which is a parent window so all check buttons are placed within the frame because that is how we are that is how we are able to this line we are able to remove it and place in the grid again so that's all now we have already discussed how this part is this is a reference is stored now the next is when I add a task when the button that plus sign is there when that is clicked what you do is we create a data here and e1 gate is the entry box what the text has my task 10 my task 7 whatever the task has entered that we read it here and status we keep it false false means that the task is not completed if it is true it is strike out so otherwise it is false now that we are create a query note that here two things if you are using mysql then this use this line if you are using sqlite then use this line because what the basic difference is the placeholder here you see the question marks here is the percentages these are the two placeholders differently both the database use so the only for that difference we are maintaining two different queries here so <coughs> change it to mysql here then once you run that one we'll get how many records are updated 
then what you did is we re immediately remove the whatever my task then click plus button is clicked then that is removed that's all then you send the message telling if that the three second whatever the message we want to give the task ID whatever the ID of the task by we take it the last row ID here so it gives us and that we display it similarly when you click the delete button delete is remove all the completed tasks so for that the query is very simple I can show you here yeah you see this query is delete from my task where status equal to true so all the completed tasks wherever the check button is checked that means the status is true will delete it so and we find out how many row record records are deleted that we place it here my again we send the message there and that's all so this delete operation is completed now that's uh, the end once we are adding it then we are while deleting we are removing all the completed tasks so it is uh, if you are facing any difficulty and understanding the code and or leave it there in the comment section and with your error message so with your error message we'll able to guide you here now let's just once more we'll run this now note that we are connected to our mysql database now i am adding one so my task 4 4 means you i am adding the task so it should come here okay now you can see let me just minimize it now you can see when while adding what is my yeah this line number 68 our task this particular function is executed let me come up again now suppose i am clicking this then all the completed tasks are removed so that's why this my delete that particular function is executed so like that we can it can be a SQLite database or mysql whatever or even odbc you can connect and connect it to ms sql also you can able to operate the same script and you are facing any problem or if you have any ideas also to how to improve this further put it in the comment section below accordingly will work and i will request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that Please share this with your friends and thank you for watching.